Yeah, so it's Andy here for Go Nomads, aka yeah. Pigs on Bikes, and today we're off to Gotchi Monte, Monte and Tonys, Monty's. Gotchi This place. Going. Round pyramids, excellent. On this bus, hour and a half. Right, let's go. Tanya's so pushy, she really is. Right. Let's get on the bus. Yeah, so it's an easy walk out the town centre and uh, we just stopped to get the tickets and the tickets are just 30 pesos each. A nice map. The numerous archaeological sites in this region are evidence of the ancient roots of man's role in transforming transforming this landscape. For that reason, that look, just read it. I'm not reading it out for you. You can pause it if you want. There's a picture as well. Yeah, nice picture, eh? Cool. Right. That was just going in the learning learning centre thing here. But I thought I'd just show you this. You've got the big lake down there. And the main road runs that way along the side of the lake. And we go back this way to Guadalajara. You've got the little town down there. I'll show you some more of the town in a little while. It's a fantastic little little village or town. Really nice little square in the middle of it, a little market. Loads of nice looking eating places. I'm gonna get some food down there later. Right, anyway, we better go. Learning sound. This way. This way. Da, 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 da. Ah, the learning centre. Wow. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? Let's just do a bit of this, shall we? Oh, I've got some aerial views here. Look, that'll save me, uh, save me buying a drone, won't it? Very nice. Ah, it's all in Spanish. You know what my Spanish is like. Yeah, so, whew, hot today. Um, just a couple of couple of tips that if you're going to come up here there's nothing up here okay once you leave the information center there's nothing there's no facilities there's no toilets there's no nothing no to buy anything to eat no to buy anything to drink okay so before you come get stocked up use the toilet get yourself a bottle of water because it's hot out here and there's a little bit of uphill and downhill going on both ways here and back doesn't take very long, 15 minutes to walk from the visitor centre or the information centre, whatever they call it, up to here, if that, maybe 10 minutes. Um, but there's no vehicles allowed up here, I don't think. So you can't get a taxi up right up to it. Um, you can get a taxi to the tourist information, knowledge, whatever you call it, centre down there. There's a car park. Uh, the other thing is that there's not much shade, especially during the dry season. Look, you can see dry season. No leaves on the trees, but some people have had excellent ideas. I nearly bought mine today and I chose not to, and that's to bring umbrellas. So don't worry, bring yourself an umbrella, bring yourself some water. Yeah, so we're at the top of uh, top of the big round pyramid, and they haven't sorted this out yet. This was only discovered in uh, 1967, and this one here looked like this. So there, so they've uncovered it all and put it all back together, how they think it went like a massive jigsaw. But it's quite cool. Not many people here, really. It's only 30 pesos to get in, so it's not even $2. It's the only round one in the world like this apart from a small one in Mexico, apparently, according to the great historian, Tanya. <laughs> Is that right, Tanya? That's what I read yesterday, yeah. That's what she read yesterday. Must be true. It's quite cool. I like the setting. You've got the mountains in the background. You've got the plateau and uh, the lake, the small town in the bottom, bottom of the valley-ish kind of thing. And this thing stuck halfway up the hillside because you can go further. Oh, it comes some dudes. And you can go further up the top here. And uh, obviously you got the little tour guy, tour, tour groups going on down there. And there's another one floating around somewhere. And you can hire a guide to give you all the history for it. But um, 
all the ones I've heard are in Spanish and I don't speak Spanish so I don't know if there's any that do it in English and I don't know how much they are cool right let's go down and have a closer look at this thing shall we doing some kind of weird ceremony where they've just got to shake things at each other they're not certain it went like that are they they're just making that up big round thing steps and then they think at the top apparently they think they put a big wooden pole and then did dancing and stuff a flying ceremony what did they do come on historian Tanya and it looks like they hung off it and swung around it oh you can see on the pictures Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I'll find a picture and put it up there. Pole up the middle, ropes coming down, running around and taking off and flying around it looking like a bird. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, right, cool. Um, job done, I feel. Be right, look, there's another one over there. There's another smaller little round thing. Let's go and have a look at that one quickly. And then I'll take a quick photo of that and then I'm going to go and get some food because I'm hungry. There we go, that's a small one. There, that'll do. Will that do? Is that enough? Yeah, so we come down near the lake. That's a big lake, look. Look at that. And we've got a few, a few kind of birdy things going on down here. I suppose if you're a bit of a twitcher, you'll, uh, you'd like that. And if you like drinking beer, then you've got bars all the way along there doing food and drinks and eating. here there's lots of people in them and right behind us is oh look there's Tanya hello Tanya hello and then we can look up here and of course we've got one of these little bars just up here oh, let no, me it's busy. It's Santa, yes it's Samantha Santa so it is busy there you go there's a few what's going on here look at this old boy hello hello horsey Anyway, that's enough of that complete and utter madness. Right, I'm going. Bye. Yeah, so we've just got off the bus and we've walked up to the round pyramid -y things. Had a look around there for a little while, come back down and they've got a whole barbecue full of uh, full of barbecue chicken and stuff on the go here. So we've stopped and we've got ourselves some tacos, some vegetables, some, some rice, chilli sauce of course. Uh, empanada and half a half a barbecue chicken. Cool, Tanya's just tucking in. What's it like? Is it any good? Mm. Mm -hmm. Really good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Right. See you soon. Bye.